sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I have posted a chart, folks, here of December corn for the past year and a half. Uh, what I'd like for you to look at was when we were setting right there at 492 a bushel, just a few short six weeks ago, that was an exact 61% retracement. It was also an, an exact A, B equals C, D, and that market exploded to the upside we made a great deal of that we took about 60 percent of the well maybe 50 percent of the whole move in corn and about 60 percent of the move in beans but boys and girls you're not going to believe this but christmas is coming on july the 4th and let me show you why well this is my interpretation all right that's all it's going to be is my interpretation of what could be happening but it sets up as nicely as you could ever want to see. I want to show you this. This is the chart of the same chart you're looking at, only it's a four-hour chart, and it shows what we love to see. is on page 222 of the book by H.M. Gartley, Profits in the Stock Market. You'll see that it's right there. And believe it or not, folks, my sweet little sister, Carla Lynn Gower Pesavento, you'll never guess what her address is in Terre Haute, Indiana. It's 222 South Poplar. Can you believe that? They can't make this stuff up. As you can see, this beautiful ABCD pattern comes right in here at 544. Okay, the low here was 492. So if it doesn't hold this, we're going to be in a tremendous bear market. But folks, this is the first major ABCD in corn in over a year. You don't see many in here. They're not, they're not easy to see. But look at this one. This is set up just absolutely beautiful. The, right, the rally up here that we pointed out in our videos, just a slightly above the 382, it hit 0.44. And now we're heading down to 544. And not only that, but we're going to be coming into the long 4th of July weekend. And as they say in Terre Haute, Indiana, and Versailles, Illinois, and Paris, Illinois, and Marshall, Illinois, all those wonderful soybean and corn areas, you got to have corn as the, the corn must be as high as an elephant's high on the 4th of July. So if you have that, then you're going to be okay. So that's where we're expecting the low to come in. So probably it'll be a long weekend. The news should be bearish. But if we can get it down here at 544 that Friday, which will be this coming Friday, uh, I'm going to be long. It's one of the few times I'm going to be long into a weekend because uh, it's I had a tremendous correction of just about a dollar a barrel, a bushel. So that's what it's set up for. It might be an early Christmas, but you know what? Ebenezer Scrooge could be in there and say buy humbugs. So that's why you put a 15 cent stop on that. So you don't have to be a car farmer for more than 15 cents or $750. Far, far better off than most people get. So let's keep that in mind. Our guest today will be John Person, a person, a uh, planet. Uh, planets persons <laughs> I got it mixed up I've known John so long I forgot what the name of the darn thing is anyway he'll be our guest he's one of the better technicians in the Chicago area but he lives down in Florida now I wanted to go through a couple of other charts that uh, that are pretty interesting uh, the main one here is we have a really big situation going on here uh, in the Canadian dollar I want to remind ourselves where we were here in this Canadian dollar a few weeks ago, back on June the 5th, we were talking about this triple bottom that was failing in the Canadian dollar. What we're going to do is we're going to walk through 
this trade because we have a potential now just by looking at see the triple bottom here everybody's saying oh this is a triple bottom nah not a chance look what happened the next day boom and there's where we came and we still went down a lot lower what we've done now folks is we've completed a major a b c d pattern double a b c d you can see the the perfect a b c d in the middle right there at the 61 percent retracement and then you have the a b cd to the downside so we're going to walk through this because these are the types of things that you uh, can help be helpful in your uh, analysis of of what you're what you're looking at so this is why we're, we're going to do it because I, I think well it's important to me so i think it'll be important to you too so here's what here's what we want to get to first of all we're going to take a look here at the canadian dollar this is a uh uh, daily chart we're going to get this up here and you're going to see where we are hold on one second because we are in the wheelhouse of what we could see as a possible really nice uh, canadian dollar trade just like we had a really nice euro trade last night after we had two losses in a row giving back 400 bucks and then the market's been kind enough to get that all back plus a little bit. But here's where we are. This is the same thing. I, I bring this to your attention because it was done by somebody other than myself, someone that I taught how to do this. And it's absolutely perfect. He's got every swing measure there. And you see where we are here? Here we are coming in. We're almost there. Within a period, in fact, we've already made it, as a matter of fact, uh, later today. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at it in another time frame. We'll get this up here so you'll be able to see it here. This is going to be a one-hour chart. We'll get this up here. So what we're doing now is we're just taking multiple time frames to see if we can get our patterns to line up to a price that is just pretty much spot on. And then what we do is we wait for the 200-day moving average to cross over the 400 moving average, which will be somewhere up in here, and that'll give us our buy signal. And if you believe that, we still have three stairs of the Brooklyn Bridge available to you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come down even a little closer, and what we're going to do now is we're going to look at this on a 15-minute chart, and then you'll see that we're getting down into the wheelhouse of where we should be getting ready to act, which will probably be tomorrow. So watch this Canadian dollar, folks. This is the end of all those different swings that you see. This is the last few days, and there it is. It's coming down here, just a few more pips, a little bit lower. It might have made it today. It's very close because that, that could also be it because that was the daily number. This is the 15-minute number. So this number could be in already. I believe that it is. The reason why I say that is is because the euro hit the exact 78% level today and then actually turned around quite a bit. So let's keep an eye on this for tomorrow. Now, these patterns are there for two reasons. One is they give you a rough idea of where prices should go. And I'm, what I mean by rough idea, they're only right about 60% of the time. The second thing that it does is that if the pattern fails, it tells you that the market is going to go a lot farther in the other direction. So let's keep a very, very close eye on that. All right. I think we've got a, a caller from uh, Jeff uh, in, from Philly is in. Jeff, how are you doing today? Uh, hi, Larry. Uh, just a real quick call. Um, I just looked up um, uh, uh oh. <laughs> we got to take a break. Come back after the break, okay. okay? Stay with us, Jeff, all right? We'll be right back, folks. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're speaking with Jeff from Philly. Jeff, uh, what was your question, my friend? Yes, thanks. Uh, actually, I just wanted to give uh, everybody a heads up. On Friday at 12 o'clock Eastern, there's a USDA report called the Acreage Report. It's an annual report. And my notes say that um, – oh, dear, I just forgot his name. Your, your friend, the expert – in, Rich Anderson. Rich Anderson. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Rich Anderson, uh, in my notes, say that this is a very impactful report. So just, you know, wanted to put a heads up out there that yes. be very careful Friday at noon on the corn, you know, spe specifically through the corn uh, trade. That, that is for sure. But, you know, that number at 544, you've got to do it because, uh, you know, we don't believe in fundamentals and all the other stuff. So. If you could buy it at 492 when nobody wanted it, you got to do it at 544 because I don't think the report will mean very much. If I'm correct, if I'm wrong, everybody will hate me, but you know, I'll <laughs> get him back as friends a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, okay. very good. I didn't want to take your time. Just wanted thank, to uh, thank put you that for bringing it to right, my attention, my friend. I had it I listed to say on Thursday, but then I'll re reiterate it again on Thursday because there is a big uh, that big acreage report. It tells you the final acreage at the the uh, farmers have planted for corns and beans it's already growing now so that's what that's all about but it's very important but they have a pretty good idea because they have drones looking over those fields all the time so they know pretty much mm. within a few acres of where, what it's going to be doing i see okay all right my friend okay. we'll talk to you a yes, little sir. bit later thank you, thank you for bye calling bye. in jeff you bet okay folks i wanted to uh bring to your attention uh uh, a couple others that look really interesting here from a uh, standpoint. First of all, I want to share this was Jeff that was just on the line, and he does some really great work, and I wanted to post his chart. He alerted me to this beautiful pattern because I've been so involved with currencies and stocks, and we've had a nice move in bonds and the euro and stuff. 
and uh, I missed this, and uh, he brought it to my attention, and then somebody else brought it to my attention, and somebody else brought it to my attention. But here's Jeff's chart. You can see the perfect ABCD pattern coming in right here at 544 a bushel. That's where you become a farmer. You don't have to buy the land. You don't have to lease the land. You don't have to lease a tractor. You don't have to buy seed, fertilizer, or pray for rain. You just buy it there, put your stop 20 cents below, and if you're right, you should make a dollar a bushel. So it's got a five to one risk reward ratio, and I think it's worthy of what's going to happen, but we'll see. The low we had down here was 492. That was the 61% retracement back here, and that was a really, really big one. So we got a lot of things happening these next few days here. I'll have a lot of charts on the grains, and we got a call from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Keith, how are you doing? I'm well, Larry. How are you? I am very good. What can I do for you? Got a question on the E Mini S and P? Yes, sir. I am. Uh, I haven't been able to listen for a while uh, due to uh, work, but I have drawn out a some nice patterns here on the E S. It looks like I'm actually short up here at forty five hundred, uh, based on the seven eight six going back to uh, April of last year. Mm -hmm. the, and also the 1.128 going back to August of last That's year correct. and the 1.5 going back to February of this year or late January. That um, is correct. And I wanted to check my work against yours and just see if I'm in the right ballpark here. I think you're in the right ballpark. We're in the midst of a rally. The market has been down for 10 days from June 16th to today. That's 11 days. Uh, of course, that's only seven trading days. But, uh, you know, mm -hmm. that's been a full week and a half uh, to the downside. We're due for a rally. We've already rallied substantially above the 382. The 61 percent retracement on that rally comes in around 44.25. Uh, I don't think we'll get much higher than that. But there are people that have been short have now been covering and people that haven't bought it have started buying it. So the market is very, very strong today with uh, two hours and a half to go. But I do believe that we will roll over and take out those lows after this rally is completed. Uh, the question is, how much higher is it going to go from that level is anybody's guess. But my guess is not much higher than 425, which is about 15, 14 handles from where we are uh, right now. And we might even make that today. And maybe it's going to make new highs, Keith. That I don't think so, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. But, so I've been kind of holding out. Uh, I got to stop 1% above that 786. I've been holding on to see what happens down at this 382. Mm -hmm. Does that sound logical absolutely. to you? Absolutely. That's absolutely correct. I'm looking at the same thing, and okay. uh, I thought we would get to that 382. We missed it by just a little bit, but now we're having a rally, and we're going to see how it all ends up here uh, by the next uh, next few days. So that's what we're paying attention to today. Does that help you with your analysis? Because that's I, yeah. I watched yes. it real closely. The, the fact like that I'm, we were, I'm on the right uh, I'm on the right side of things here. Anyway, we, we think uh, may so. I ask you one more? <laughs> Yes, sir. Go right ahead. I wanted to um, look at the euro a minute. Okay. So um, I'll bring the euro I'm chart up so all the other folks can see sure. it. There, get it up here so we'll be able to see. Go ahead. Please continue. So, okay. So if you notice, there's a 1.128 at around um, the 24th of April. Yes, sir. Uh, coming off of the, what is it, the 10th or something like that. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, I'm showing a 786 uh, from a few days ago. And we're pulling back. We actually exceeded the 382 uh, with mm -hmm. that long tail. Yes, we did. From what I'm seeing. And so I'm kind of in no man's land. I, I'm short up here at that 786 with a 1.5% stop. I, and, I'm, uh, sir, go ahead. As long as we don't get above 110, this looks just fine. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Yeah, <clears throat> as long I was, as you, if you see a 110 you, print, you're probably mm -hmm. wrong, and that's where I would say uncle and move aside because – you know, it could easily okay. have very little corrections through here, but it stopped exactly at that 78% level uh, today. And now we're going to find out if it still has uh, – it's actually come off quite a bit from the early morning high. So it's still early, but at least it started in the right direction. Right. Okay. 
Cool. That's that's what I wanted to visit with you. I appreciate how's your it. Rain, how's your rain situation over there in Cedar Rapids? You're right in the middle of the belt. You get much rain? We got a we've got just a just a tad, not much. Uh, we're mm. uh, we're drier than the desert over here right now. Yeah, that's what I hear. So it's going to be an interesting yeah. holiday, that's for sure. So thanks for calling in, Keith. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Larry. You All bet. Right. Okay. Well, there's one farmer that says it's still dry, so we'll find out what's happening. Remember, these markets are anticipatory, so sometimes they're going to anticipate the wrong things, and that's what you do as a speculator. A speculator comes from the... The uh, Latin word speculare, which means to observe. So you're an observer. What you're trying to do is an observe an opportunity to be a buyer or seller because they are different fellers. Now, we've got a guest coming up. John Person will be on tomorrow. We're going to have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Thursday, we're going to have Paula Webb. And on Friday, we're going to have Peter Elides of uh, Peter Leidy stock market cycles. I wanted to uh, bring the chart of the German DAX up to uh, show you that uh, it did have a little bit of a correction that we were looking for. In fact, it was a little bit larger than most people anticipated. I'll get this up here so you'll be able to see it. Stay tuned, folks. We'll have John Person up. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, 
we're back, folks, and I believe we have John Person in the house today. John, how are you doing? Uh oh, don't tell us we have technical difficulties. Hopefully, he'll be with us there. Earth to John, Earth to John. Uh, I'll have TFNN double check to see why we don't have we John are in here. Testing. Uh, yeah, one, Hello. two, three. Testing one, two, three. John, I'm do you here. realize? One, two, three. You know, we've only known each other 41 years. Can you believe it's gone so quickly? Larry, <laughs> don't say 41 years. That validates I have gray hair, sir. That's bad news. Uh, I, I think that's just because of the snow coming down in Florida. Hey, John, <laughs> remind, remind me, didn't didn't you work, uh, and when we were on the floor, didn't you work with, um, uh, what was his name, the uh, stochastic guy, George uh, Lane? Did you <laughs> George work with Lane, him for a while? the stochastic guy. I sure did. George and his that, wife, Carrie Lane. Yes, I yes, did. Yes, that's right. I remember that because you were doing some work. You expanded your work. And as I recall, when we were down at the Merck floor, you had a had, had a service that the floor brokers brought from you every day and where the, uh, where the swings were going to be in the S&P and T-bills and a couple others. Am I correct on that? Didn't you have a service uh, like that? I did bonds. I did bonds. Bonds, uh, okay, I okay. Did, yeah. I experimented and, uh, and and knocked the ball out of the park on that little brand new product called Options. They introduced the first commodity was on uh, Treasury bonds. Mm -hmm. So I um, that 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 was through the days of old before Options became really popular. So yes, it's been uh, a long time, Larry. Boy, well, I, we thanks for memory lanes. The six uh, six uh, six times the volume in Options or more. Uh, in fact, it's probably a lot more than they're, they're in the futures. And, boy, I know some people that press those things that are, whew, boy, uh, the amount of money that they put into these markets is a little scary. John, you're going to talk to us about uh, three stocks today. My first question is, my friend, are you doing more stocks now than you're doing with the futures? Because your expertise was in that Dow E-mini. You were, you were a I master of that. In, you know, it was back in 2009 in March when we hit that uh -huh. quarterly person's pivot support and the belows and i just went all in on stocks i mean bank america i mean ge i mean you name it i just i just went all in on stocks and then ever since then i've been doing literally more stocks than i have anything so i'm more equity based than i am commodity at all oh and that's I've been great that, that way for probably yeah. close to 18 years now son of a gun that's really good now are, are do do also do options shot a lot of options. In fact, today we picked up some weekly options on NVIDIA, the 420 calls on NVIDIA, and that's what I was going to talk to you about, a couple of opportunities that we see going into the end of the quarter here, or at least this okay. particular week, because it is it's quite the crazy, crazy world. <laughs> Do you remember when the NASDAQ was high at 5,000? <laughs> well, how about this? I started in the business, Larry, and I know you, I don't want to outdate you, but uh, or predate you, but I started when the Dow was at 800, and how many times have we seen 800 Dow days, right? So um, that's that's the intriguing thing. And, you know, the funny part is we get all kinds of new markets, and now the latest, greatest, bestest, biggest uh, thing, you know, blockchain's old technology. Now it's artificial intelligence. So, it's uh, yeah. you know, there's just always something to trade and always something in the limelight. These days. That's what is so great about this business anyway. So you're going to start us out with uh, uh, Microsoft today? Let's do Microsoft. Microsoft is, like, you know, it's, it's an interesting uh, argument about gaps in technical analysis and charts. A lot of people feel that gaps are like magnets. The market comes down and fills gaps. Microsoft has a couple of gaps. One's at 317, which we're so close to coming back and, and trying to see if there was any follow through, which I do believe if it's not this next week and a half, 10 day period, we should see some kind of a uh, if, if, as long as we get a weekly close, and I know this is kind of like hard for people to, to imagine, but if we get a weekly close underneath this 435-ish level, um, there's a, about a 70% probability we're going to see that 317 gap get filled in Microsoft. The, the I'm not just a price-orientated trader. I'm also a condition-orientated trader. I look at relative strength. That is the percent ratio change of the underlying market, in this case, Microsoft, to the S&P 500, as well as volume. So the, the, the thing that might strike us unique is we could get an end of the quarter window dressing bump, and that's what I think we're seeing today. But Microsoft has, I wouldn't chase the upside in Microsoft because there's downside gaps down there, 317 is one. So first and foremost, if this week we close under 435, I would suggest traders start looking at maybe the July 21st expiration 
maybe like the 325, 320 puts, if they're too expensive, spread those off to like maybe the 310, 305s. And I think by July 21st, we'll get a retracement to fill that that first gap. So that was the one thing I wanted to, to, to bring to attention. The, the trade in Microsoft and it's a cap weight effect along with, again, uh, Meta, Apple, is really what's been, as everyone probably on your show, because I'm sure you've been telling people this, has been really what's the, the main part of driving the market. And uh, I, I think that if we do, if we do see broadening out and you see stocks like, I don't know, it could call makeup a uh, company like Estee Lauder or food provider, provider uh, Tyson Chicken or entertainment company like Disney, which has not moved off their 52-week lows. I mean, eventually people will start looking at buying some of that stuff. Um, and then the, it, one or two things has to happen. Either new money has to come in for that, or money has to come out of T-bills, treasuries. A lot of people went into treasuries at a 5% clip this year. Even Warren Buffett says the first thing him and Charlie do every Monday morning is line up at the Fed window to buy treasury bills. So mm-hmm. those bills need to mature, and people need to be compelled to buy and find opportunity in the equity markets. And if they do, then then we're going to start to see maybe the mega cap stuff sell off a little bit and move into other segments of the market. Yeah, both Charlie and uh, Warren do pretty well, that's for sure. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Love Airline. When I, this work flies in and out of Tucson all the time, Southwest Airlines. What are you seeing here, John? So Southwest has got a probably good bump in the next week. I, I mean, I was looking at this. We're, we're in this trade myself, and uh, I'm looking for, you know, not a huge move, but 38, maybe we get to 40 uh, on a, a wing and a prayer, no pun intended. But as you say that Southwest Airlines got a really bad rap at Christmas. He had the Secretary of Treasury or Secretary or whatever he is, uh, Transportation, <laughs> uh, Mayor Pete, uh, come out and kind of bash him. They've had some problems. They're, they're getting their – their uh, software in line, uh, but their routes are, I mean, just packed. And, and, you know, their cruise line industry, if you take a look at Royal Caribbean stock, and, you know, I, I know that Carnival had a, a downbeat and earning reaction yesterday. But if you think of and look at all of the news that you've seen in Airbnbs, but a good recovery there, all these vacation destiny, destination stocks like the, the, um, the cruise lines, people ain't walking to get to a cruise line. They're flying. And Southwest mm-hmm. is a major discounter, and it flies out of Columbus. It goes to, as you pointed out, your neck of the woods, but it also is a hub of Las Vegas. And Las Vegas, baby, is off the charts busy, off the charts busy. So I'm looking at, at Southwest. Their numbers probably should get a good bid. It's already right now. The airlines today are are seeing some strength, some extra move in Delta, American, the big majors. But I think – the, the real value might be in the discounter that nobody wanted to pay attention to. So Southwest has a, a good risk-reward ratio. Not a lot of downside risk here. Might be the general side. You got to pay a few bills. The, 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 the earnings uh, season is a lot. Hey, let's stay with us. We've got to pay a few bills. We'll be right back with John Person, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're speaking with John Person. John, what's the name of your company? Planet Person? It's Persons Planet, like John Person, but PersonsPlanet.com. Persons That's Planet. And how, did he, how do they reach you? What's the best way to – you have a website? Yes, Persons Planet, www.PersonsPlanet.com. And go check yeah, out there. We've got all kinds of great easy. stuff on that website and directions on yeah. different indicators that are on Thinkorswim, one of your, I think, sponsors there. we got some great yes. indicators on Thinkorswim and work with other brokers Good and, stuff. and other dealers as well. So. I'd um, like to be you know, it's interesting. Your... I heard your, uh, the advertisement for uh, Labu, the three-time leverage ETF on biotech, and I was just thinking that, uh, you know, one of the, the trades, because it's in a seasonally strong uptrend, we just haven't seen participation in a lot of names, um, got beat up with Sarepta Therapeutic and Jazz Pharmaceuticals. But someone could look at the SEP six calls, the September expiration $6 calls for like 83, 84 cents. You know, mm -hmm. give it a couple of weeks. You should see a market if it's in, at the very least in the trading range could pop back up to seven, seven and a half. Uh, that okay. might be a, a pretty decent upside trade uh, as we enter into earnings season in July. So right now it's down. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> I just thought I'd insert that one there, Larry. Hey, listen. How about uh, you coming on every couple of weeks? I'd like to, if you could, if you got a, you know, a little spot uh, like we work in every. If, if you can't do it every two weeks, maybe once a month. But I'd like to on every two weeks if I could, because we have a lot of stock folks out here. And of course, I'm just futures oriented. I've, the last time I did an option, it was to, uh, you know, to take a, 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 a different air, air, airplane from my regular uh, flight. So I, I don't do options <laughs> at all. And we'd love to have people that know options to show. You know how people can leverage stuff because it not only protects your risk, but when you're right, they make many times. You know what the uh, the average person makes when they do a trade. Am I correct on that? When the yeah, when the options well, are you correct? know it, it's defined risk number one. If you're directionally, yeah. if you um, are, if you're challenged and do not have a sense of technical analysis, and you're directionally market challenged and you don't know which way it's going, I mean. You know, options can be written as a hedge against uh, positions, or you can take non-directional. But I, I, I have a better sense of, um, and I, I'm not perfect, but I have a better sense of, of direction. And so, therefore, I, you know, combine a, a bunch of different work, seasonality, condition of markets, using volume and relative strength. And uh, I think that traders can offer a, a huge benefit by using directional options if they know what they're doing. I mean, mm -hmm. don't go all in. You have to have the risk amount. And uh, you got to be willing to lose money, and that's that's the key in this market. Well, that's uh, Warren's r rules are: is uh, number one rule is don't lose money, and number two rule, don't break rule number one. So, Generally uh, speaking, 
I haven't been able to work on that one for a long time, but you've got another chart here on Intel, which is uh, it's been going up pretty good here for the last few months. But boy, this stock's been beaten up quite a bit over the the past few years, hasn't it? It used to be a, a yeah, much, much I mean, higher. Yeah, I mean, Intel's, uh, you know, it's one that I think a lot of people wrote off since, you know, um, you know, in the pandemic, or at least in the, the peak in 21, it was around 67. It went all the way to, I think, when they announced that they were going to reduce their dividend, it went to like 23 or something. But, um, and, and that the day they announced that, the stock rallied. So it was like bad news that doesn't make a market go down, bad news makes a market go up is, is a bullish market environment. But I think mm -hmm. Intel's got some very, very longer-term monthly and weekly volume trend patterns that are indicative of a bigger underlying move coming. And while no one's going to, you know, it's like, oh, it's just Intel. I think a lot of people are tired of Intel. They got burned on it. They don't like to go back. Mm -hmm. People don't like to be twice burned. Um, but Intel, to me, has a potential, and I'm thinking that at least, at least by Christmas, if everything goes well, and not just the artificial intelligence uh, field, but at least in, in developing more uh, in consumer electronics and as well as looking into more um, vehicle and, and more consumer discretionary products, I think Intel has really in a new cycle for uh, modernization of uh, computer equipment. I think Intel will be back to where it was a year ago. Exactly May a year ago it was at 42. We're trading at 33.97 today. Yeah. Risk is down to around twenty nine bucks. So I mean, you got a, a about a four or five dollar risk to make about eight nine dollars to the upside. Yeah. And uh, you know, you can probably scalp some options uh, on the upside along the way. So um, I, I think right now, better performing uh, two names. And, and by the way, on a side note, Nvidia. I I think that uh, people have underestimated uh, Nvidia's. Um, income and what they're going to come out with in the next quarter, I think NVIDIA has got at least a, a $500 print coming to it by the end of the summer. So uh, NVIDIA today is trading at 416. So I think there's, there's more room and possibly uh, Intel and at the very least maybe another 20% uh, to the upside out of NVIDIA. Right? Wow. Some I that people should stick with. John, do you follow the things that are going on in Taiwan because of the Taiwan semiconductors are so important to, you know, bringing chips into the country? Do you do you watch the fundamentals of that at all? Yeah, just and you know the whole thing about the foundry making of the outsourced mm -hmm. to what's going on. And I mean, you know, I don't want to get into the conspiracy theorists uh, <laughs> jargon, but I will say that China. They want Taiwan. I mean, let's leave it. That's the. I, I don't think that's anything that's not on anyone's mind. And uh, you know, we've got a current political party that has sent mixed messages. Uh, Anthony Blinken was just over there saying, you know, hey, man, you know, you do whatever you want to Taiwan. It's uh, you know, we don't recognize it. And in the meantime, the president of Taiwan's over here in the United States. In the meantime, we send senators over there. Taiwan's a very important uh, structure uh, for technology. So I think that's probably if tensions heat up, Nvidia and Intel, uh, you're going to have to want to, you know, that, that you know, shortage of what makes the world go round, besides money, is is technology, and it's driven by semiconductors. So I, I those two areas I think is is kind of like next to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, probably black gold, better than crude oil at this point. Yeah, well, that doesn't take much to be better than crude oil today because they're beating it up pretty good. Listen, my friend, we're going to have you on again soon. So please, uh, when I ask you to come on, if you've got the time, they'd love to see. I like Larry, I make to this. the time. You are the godfather and the king of Fibonacci. Uh, and if there's and, uh, anyone in this world that has the utmost respect of knowledge, it is you. Well, and that's a fact. And I'm honored to be on your show. So thank you. Very much. John, Thanks. I appreciate it, and I will get that twenty dollars out to you just as soon as I can make a winning trade. It might not be today, but it's it coming. Like 40, yeah, forty, Larry. Hey, how are you feeling? By the way, did you get over your accident? Where you had your uh, that auto accident thing? Are you finally doing better? No, I, I the odd that was I was hit as a pedestrian. No, I was playing grandfather about two weeks ago, believe it or not, and Keely Steele. We got plenty of time to talk markets with you. Okay. All right, my friend. Thanks for joining us today. We'll have you on again really <laughs> Thanks, soon. Tell, tell Mary I said hello, too, please.
You got it. Thanks, sir. Peace. Bye bye. John Person, folks, of Person's Planets. Okay, let's get back and we'll be talking about some of these other markets. We're making new highs now in the S P here at forty four eighteen, substantially above the uh, 382 retracement, which came in at 4390, only 27 handles. This market was due to rally, folks. We just completed an ABCD down there last night at 4365. Uh, the low happened to be what, uh, 4368, I believe, or 4372. And no, it was actually a little lower than that. There is where it is. Yeah, 4360. 4368, that was the low. That was the ABCD pattern. And from that, we have rallied 58 points so far and still going up and probably going to be going up the rest of the day. This is the way it looks like uh, from the cheap seats here in Tucson, Arizona. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. 877-927-6. Tommy O'Brien delivers six, options four. and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I wanted to post a chart here of the E-mini S&P over the past month or so. You'll see the high we made back on... June the 16th, the low we made yesterday, and then we made a slightly higher low today by two points, and it came in exactly at you. Yes, Johnny, we see you're holding your plaque up. Yes, you can sit down now. Yes, continue eating your oatmeal and your cookies. We'll be with you in just a minute. Anyway, it is 382, of course, and we just hit the 382 on this really wide bar here. Folks, when you make a 382 on the first day, this market is most probably telling you it wants to go higher. 
that after 10 days, all that market could do was make a beautiful 382 retracement, and now we're having a big rally. No surprise here. Market was extremely overbought coming in today, and that's one of the things you got to realize, folks. Sometimes they go up, sometimes they go down. You never know which way they're going to go, but the one thing's pattern will do is they'll give you a rough idea of where it's going to go, and that real key word there is rough because they're only right about 60% of the time. The other 40% of the time, you got to reverse and go the other way because that's telling you that's the direction it wants to go. So anyway, this market has held up extremely well. The only thing that would make it bearish now would be to take out the lows of today, and that would be very bearish. But that doesn't seem to be the cards with uh, two hours to go uh, in the trading. Uh, I don't think markets could ever reverse in two hours. That almost never would happen. Anyway, tomorrow, folks, uh, we're going to have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. He's been been pretty much spot on on these currents, uh, the energy markets. And also, he did a really good job uh, in the gold market, folks. He's been telling us gold's been going lower, and we're getting close to that real magical number in gold. We're only $10 away, and that might be coming here between now in the next day or so, the way it moves around, it might even be before we end the show, but that's only a few seconds. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow.